Hello, my name is Sudarshan. I'm a senior support engineer with uh, SQL Server team. Today I'll be going through how to set up peer-to-peer -peer replication with SQL Server 2008. In this, uh, we'll be looking into the requirements and the walkthrough of enabling peer-to-peer -peer replication. The basic requirements for peer-to-peer -peer replication is uh, you need to have either enterprise edition of SQL Server or developer edition of SQL Server. You need to have two instances of SQL Server, instance one, instance two. Uh, you need to have a transactional publication uh, which is already created. On the transactional publication, you will enable peer-to-peer -peer option. So once you enable the peer-to-peer -peer option, you won't be able to remove that. Uh, the only method is to remove the whole publication. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look into the steps. Uh, how exactly you can enable peer-to-peer -peer using SQL Server 2008. I have two instances. Instance 1 which is uh, uh, 081 and 082. I have a database called as demo with one, one table in that. I have created a uh, transactional uh, publication with that. And then uh, after that, I have uh, taken a full backup of the demo database and restored it on the other instance. So after that is done, you just have to right click on the publication, go to properties and click on subscription options. In the peer to peer replication section, you have to set the allow peer to peer subscription option to true. Once you set that to true, you will get uh, a peer originator ID which which is by default as one you can change that also if you need it otherwise you can keep that as default and you have to go ahead and enable allow initialization from backup files set to true because you have taken the complete backup of your published database and then restored it on the other server so basically both the nodes will have uh, same data as well as schema the one restriction of peer-to-peer -peer is that both uh, the data as well as schema has to be same between the two nodes. So I'll just click on OK here. Once I click on OK, uh, I will get a menu option which says uh, configure peer-to-peer -peer, uh, replication using the wizard. So once that comes up, let's go ahead and uh, use the same. Right click on that, configure peer-to-peer -to -peer topology click on next go ahead and select the the publication in in my case it is demo I'll click on next right click on the white area and say add a new peer node select the second instance what you have let me select this one because I'm using uh, select the database since I have already restored uh, my published database on the second node with the same name. I select the same same name. I'll check connect all displayed uh, displayed nodes. Peer originator ID is set to two because I've already have one which has been given to my first node. Click on OK. Click on Next. It will ask you for the agent security properties. Let's go ahead and run everything under my uh, SQL Server Agent Service account. Click on Next. It will ask you for the agent for subscriber. I'll select the same option here as well. And I'll click on Next. You get two options. One is I created the peer database manually or restored a backup of the original publication database which has not been changed since the backup was taken. In my case, I did the first option. I have not changed anything with respect to the published database. So I'll go ahead and select this option. For instance, if you have made any changes to the published database after you um, you have restored the backup on the other node and you want, you want to make sure those changes will also get translated to the other instance, you have to select the second node, second option, and it will ask you for the backup file. You just have to give the path of the backup file and click on next so I'll just select the first option since I have not made any uh, any changes to the to the to my published database click on next I'll click on finish here 
once it completes, uh, you should see uh, same publication at the other node as well. You'll also see one subscription at the each uh, node. Uh, for ex uh, in one of the each subscription will be pointing to each other. So let's wait once that is completed. So usually we use peer-to-peer -peer replication for something like a hot backup. So if you have uh, two nodes and if you have applications connecting to this particular node, uh, then if one of the node is down, uh, you can still uh, use the other node. Uh, the, your app can direct uh, to the other node to get access to the database. So this is done. I'll click on close and I'll just right click on the replication folder, say refresh, uh, just to make sure that comes down here so you can see I have uh, my publication I have a subscription which is pointing to my second node and if I come to my second instance or second node I'll just refresh that again you see the same uh, publication here as well and you will see a one more subscription pointing to the the first node so basically if one of my server is down uh, for example if my is 081 is down I can still uh, point my my applications to 082 uh, without server down or something so that's all we done today hope you enjoyed the video thank you